chapter eight, round two. Okay, said Mr. Porky, round two will be the lightning round. We're going to get struck by lightning, I asked. Everybody laughed even though I didn't say anything funny. Andrea rolled her eyes and slapped her own forehead. This is going to go fast, said Mr. Porky. You only get five seconds to answer each question, and each question is worth two points. I'll tally up the points at the end. Andrea leaned over to me. Arlo, you've got to get your act together, she whispered. You haven't answered any questions. Chillax, I replied. Okay, elementary school started round one, said Mr. Porky, so Dirk school will start round two. Ready? Ready, Morgan shouted. Tommy picked his nose. Name a president who won a Grammy Award, said Mr. Porky. Bill Clinton, shouted Morgan. Right, said Mr. Porky. Elementary, which president proclaimed the first Thanksgiving? George Washington, shouted Andrea. Right, said Mr. Porky. Which president worked at Baskin Robbins and collected Spider-Man comics? Barack Obama, shouted Morgan. Right, said Mr. Porky. Who was the first president to live in the White House? John Adams, shouted Andrea. Right, said Mr. Porky. Whose face is on the $5,000 bill? There's a $5,000 bill? James Madison, shouted Morgan. Right, said Mr. Porky. Besides President's Day, what other holidays fall in February, asked Mr. Porky. Super Bowl Sunday, I shouted. Everybody laughed, even though I didn't say anything funny. I'll give that one to you, said Mr. Porky. I was thinking of Valentine's Day and Groundhog Day. Dirk, who was the shortest president? James Madison, shouted Morgan. Right, said Mr. Porky. He was only five feet, four inches tall. Elementary, which president was shot a year before Abraham Lincoln? I looked at Andrea. She shrugged her shoulders. Oh, um, it was... Time's up, said Mr. Porky. It was Abraham Lincoln. Another trick question. He was riding a horse when a shot rang out. It didn't hit him, but the bullet hole went through his hat. I knew that, Andrea said, pounding the table. Dirk school, said Mr. Porky. When Washington became president, how many real teeth were in his mouth? One, shouted Morgan. Right, said Mr. Porky. Which president had grizzly bear cubs that lived in a cage on the White House lawn? Thomas Jefferson, shouted Andrea. Right, said Mr. Porky. What treat did James Madison's wife, Dolly, serve at his inauguration ball? Ice cream, shouted Morgan. Right, said Mr. Porky. Which president had a bullet in his shoulder for most of his life? James Monroe, shouted Andrea. He was shot during the Revolutionary War. Right, said Mr. Porky. Name three presidents who died on the 4th of July. John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, and James Monroe, shouted Morgan. Right, said Mr. Porky. Wow, I said, which is mom, upside down. I had lost track of the score, but Morgan and Andrea really knew their stuff. I was pretty much useless to our team, and Tommy just sat there picking his nose. Mr. Porky continued. Which president used to go swimming naked in the Potomac River? John Quincy Adams, shouted Andrea. Right, said Mr. Porky. Which president was only president for a month? William Henry Harrison, shouted Morgan. Right, said Mr. Porky. Which president had the most children? John Tyler, shouted Andrea. Right, said Mr. Porky. How many? Get this page turned there. Children did John Tyler have? Fifteen, shouted Morgan. Right, said Mr. Porky. Where did Abraham Lincoln store his mail, his bank book, and important papers? In his hat, shouted Andrea. Right, said Mr. Porky. Who was the first president to have a telephone in the White House? Rutherford B. Hayes, shouted Morgan. Right, said Mr. Porky. Who installed Rutherford B. Hayes' telephone? Alexander Graham Bell, the inventor of the telephone, shouted Andrea. Right, said Mr. Porky. What was Rutherford B. Hayes' phone number? It was one, shouted Morgan. Right, said Mr. Porky. Which president owned 80 pairs of pants? Chester A. Arthur, shouted Andrea. Right, said Mr. Porky. Who was the first president to ride in a car? William McKinley, shouted Morgan. Right, said Mr. Porky. Which 
president is responsible for the invention of the teddy bear. Teddy Roosevelt, shouted Andrea. Right, said Mr. Porky. Which president, legend has it, got stuck in a White House bathtub? William Taft, shouted Morgan. He weighed over 300 pounds. Right, said Mr. Porky. Which president had a flock of sheep mow the White House lawn? Woodrow Wilson, shouted Andrea. Right, said Mr. Porky. Which president had the biggest feet? William Warren Harding, shouted Morgan. Size 14. Right, said Mr. Porky. Name the presidents who were elected in 1860 and 1960. Lincoln and Kennedy, shouted Andrea. Right, said Mr. Porky. Which president had a secretary named Kennedy? Lincoln, shouted Morgan. Right, said Mr. Porky. Which president had a secretary named Lincoln? Kennedy, shouted Andrea. Right, said Mr. Porky. Name the two presidents who had vice presidents named Johnson. That would be Lincoln and Kennedy, shouted Morgan. Right, said Mr. Porky. Doesn't that take the cake? What did cake have to do with anything? Why is everybody always talking about cake? Which president had a bowling alley installed in the White House? Harry S. Truman, shouted Andrea. Right, said Mr. Porky. Which president worked as a fashion model and appeared on the cover of Cosmopolitan magazine? Gerald Ford, shouted Morgan. Right, said Mr. Porky. And who makes the best pork sausages? Porkies, we all shouted. Right, said Mr. Porky. Okay, that's the end of round two. Whew, that was intense. Let's all take a deep breath and then I'll tally up the points. The audience clapped and cheered for a million a hundred seconds. Finally, Mr. Porky looked up from his score sheet. The scores are Dirk School, 38 points, and Elementary School, 33 points. Dirk has a five point lead going into the final round. All the Dirk kids started hooting and hollering. Morgan Brucklebank sneered at me and made the L sign with her fingers. Andrea looked really mad. We're losing, she said to me, and it's all because of you, Arlo. Don't you know anything? I can't carry the team all by myself. I wanted to say something mean to Andrea, but how could I? She was right. I didn't know anything. We were getting crushed, and it was my fault. I wanted to go run away to Antarctica and live with the penguins. Penguins don't even have to know about the presidents. I'm not even sure if Antarctica has a president. This was the worst day of my life. And that is the end of chapter eight.